Well, Josh, there's a lot of big things going on in the world today, mm. but nothing as important as the wheel of the worst. But alas, it is the wheel of the worst. A torture device for the modern age. A spin of three your torture will be. DVDs and tapes to seal your fates. It's now time to spin the wheel of the worst. Well, Josh, I know you got lost on your way to the 40-year-old men who dress like toddlers convention. I did too. But since you're here, why don't we check out what's on the wheel of the worst? Why not? God damn. Uh, first up, the Manners Club, featuring General Manners. Hmm. Which is good. He, this is before he got promoted to Colonel Manners. Right. Yeah. right. General, I think it's a little pun. He's wearing a military-style uniform. It looks like a... Uh, what, what are they? What are the Nutcracker, right? Oh. Yeah, like a like a teddy bear Nutcracker. Yeah. 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 Although he looks kind of sinister. I mean, look at this kid. He's he's obviously been scarred already. Uh, yeah, it looks like a hostage photo. A little bit. Next up, something. <laughs> we see we've got uh, Princess Di. Uh huh. Um, basketball. Basketball. Right. Coronavirus. <laughs> oh boy. And coronavirus. Uh, coronavirus surrounding business people. Yeah, this is this is a real uh, up to the minute video. It, it uh, especially with the Princess Die stuff. Yeah, uh, I have no comments. I don't know what that's about. Meanwhile, leader's guide: high impact hand safety. Oh boy, this is this is this is a this is a good sign. What high impact hand safety? Mm -hmm. So if you're, if you're on high impact things... To protect your hands? To keep your hands safe from the high impact things. What about like, is it maybe like mean you're not getting punched? Oh, like, a, like oh! But there's a guy with, well, a, that would with, be a, 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 with a, like a hard hat Yeah, on. this is definitely a workplace. Well, we've seen what happens when, you know, you get punched at a workplace. You shoot your toe off. Okay, what's next on the wheel, Mike? Introducing the Baldy Man! Yeah, I'm right here. What? Uh, the new look, delegate, keep, what the, what the fuck? I, I, uh, uh, new look, delegate, keep fit, fit ill. That just like broke my it head. Does it doesn't, uh. New look, de oh, those are different statements because on the side of the box they're all like, oh, new like look, time. like steps maybe, new look, delegate, keep fit, but ill? Ill? Maybe that's like like 90s slang, like ill, like be cool. Oh, like, Ellen. Yeah, I'd be yeah. Ellen. Uh, uh, it's rated PG, apparently. Well, that's good. And uh, so, he, uh, uh, I'm thinking this is going to try to be funny. Yeah. I and it's not going to succeed. I don't think so. I think Brian Butterfield could do a much better job yeah. of telling me, delegate, keep fit. Sandwich casserole. Chocolate quail's eggs, garlic pudding, fluffy ruffs, hoisin crispy owl, pasta pillows, bon 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 bons. W. Hoisin crispy owl. <laughs> w, double W. Yes, if that were Brian Butterfield, perhaps I'd be excited to watch this. Yeah, as it is, not so much. No. What's Let's next? See. Next up, action game series. Indoor games, hours of fun for rainy days. Hours of fun for rainy days. Yep. <laughs> Sunny days optional? I, don't I, know. I, I guess. I, I, God, I wounded myself on the fucking wheel already. Meanwhile, what's the next thing? More proof. Cold Steel. This is the video our competitors don't want you to see. Oh! oh. That includes a bonus DVD, Sword Proof. Ooh. Side, uh, side one. Uh, the, the DVD. Yeah. Sword proof and big bore trademark blowgun. Whoa! Side two, spears in action. Okay. Holy cow! Uh, 
uh, man with weapons. The, the main thing that's them. sticking with me is that I've just remembered that DVDs used to have two sides sometimes. They do. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They, uh, right, right. That's all I got out of this. This is otherwise it's going to be a guy with a blowgun. <laughs> Next up. Holy shit, it's gorilla driving. <laughs> Counter ambush tactics for today's mean streets. Defensive use of your car. Yeah, baby. Oh, I need to learn all of this shit. That's great. I hope we get this one. I, 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 this could be real informational. I, yeah, using your car as a weapon yeah. to def defend yourself against uh, carjackers or yeah. whatnot. Now that's what I see on the internet. Cars. They do have cars on the internet. What's next, Mike? Well, <laughs> I don't know, alcohol. Oh! <laughs> Risky Business, not starring oh. Tom Cruise. Interestingly enough, they did still get Curtis Armstrong for this. <laughs> hey, Fellas got to work. Yeah, old, good old booger. <laughs> well, the, he, he ain't hazing anybody. No, but he might be indulging in some uh, drug abuse. Have you any idea what the street value of this mountain is? Uh, okay, so there's a lot of words spiraling all over the cover. Hazing. Uh-oh. Uh, sexual abuse, mm -hmm. alcohol and drug abuse. Ooh. Drug, alcohol. Sexual abuse. Uh, mm. yeah. know, there's a whole bunch of ch uh, highly charged words okay. along with the title Risky Business. All right, Josh, it's time to spin the wheel. Try not to land on any of the tapes on there. I, uh, I'll do my best, right. which is not good. You give it a good old spin. Oh, God. The Manners Club. <laughs> it's a, a one, run around once, and one around once, everybody. Went around it, it once. Fully went around, oh, went around oh, once. <laughs> I thought he was calling her bitch. Bitch. He got a subtitle. Bitch. But I wonder to play checkers. Bitch. 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 I was wearing a hoodie and I was told this is where I had to come. Yep. Now spin the wheel. Okay. Uh, high impact <laughs> hand safety. Yes. Oh, it's time to make a phone call. <laughs> American Training Resources Inc. in Santa Ana, California. Yeah, I hope they're there today. November 7th, 1992. John Growler is assisting in bending heavy metal plates to a predetermined arc. Although instructed to keep the floor clear of obstacles around the machine, he waited until it was in operation before doing so. Tripping over his own tools caused him to fall into the rollers. Oh my God, no! Rich, where's your hoodie? Rich. Rich. What? Where's your hoodie? Hoodie? Yeah. I don't have a hoodie. Oh. Spin the wheel then. Oh, okay. It's a, okay. It's a foreign film. Okay. <laughs> Find out what Princess Die has to say about basketball. Yeah. Why not? Why not? What the fuck? Oh my god. What's he doing? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what's happening. Taisets ni ikite iru kara koso desu. Shikashi. 21世紀を目前に控えた現在。未来に影響を及ぼしかねない課題を私たちは。So is this some kind of educational film? We're talking about things around the world. Basketball. And technology, so that was an alien. Oh my god! 
I'm challenging you to a basketball duel. I was going to say, I'm a space alien that's come down to teach you how to play basketball. Okay, I'm saying space alien who's come down to challenge them to a basketball duel. Like Space Jam. So, yeah, remake of Space Jam. Like Space yeah. Jam. <laughs> this is the real Space Jam, a new legacy. Uh, but why then? Because they have the, within them the spirit of basketball. <laughs> Yes. That's true. That's very, very true. Get on with the show. I'm not in charge here. Walking around. All right, All right. I'm sorry, Rich. Rich. You're probably going, you're going somewhere. It's a classic wheel episode. No real gimmicks other than the wheel, which is a gimmick. We spun the wheel several times. We got some tapes. The first tape was the Matters Club. <laughs> and the person who spun the tape was Josh. Josh. Oh, Lordy. Tell us about the Matters Club. Well, there's uh, this guy, General Manners. And by guy, I mean giant bear. Um, and he teaches you all about the manners that you need um, when you're in Grandpa's sitting room by the fireplace. Is the, is the bear there from the beginning? No. I'm so glad you could all come over and work on the science project. But what I, what I find amusing, though, is when the kids walk in the door, they're having a very lively conversation, the all of them, all of them, and then they walk in. Full stop. Full stop. That was so, that is so that that was that was best best. Well, she looks, she looks up at the director for a moment. She's yeah. like, check in. Yep. And then the, all and the then, naturalism, yeah. all the goodwill the video had built up till them is just gone. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> so then that, the that natural Robert Altman esque, you know, overlapping, overlapping dialogue. The only thing that these these older kids know to do is call General Manners, who immediately arrives. <laughs> He's outside just waiting, just praying <laughs> they would call him. Hello, General Manners. This is Tap. We are trying to get some kids to understand taking turns and sharing. Do you think you could help us? Yeah, bring the guns. <laughs> so the magical bear human character that has called him on a phone? Yeah. Come on over, bud. He's just watching TV and having a beer. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hi, kids. What can I do to help you? Hi, Genomators. Come on in. It's clearly it would be an app now on your phone. You'd just be like, you know, where is the nearest bear manor specialist? Well, he does look suspiciously like Pedo Bear. <laughs> That's a real thing? Yeah. Well, well it's an internet thing. It's, it's an internet thing. I mean, there isn't it's really a Pedo Bear. No. Oh. Well, see, in, in context of the video, uh, General Manners is a bit of a contradiction because he's a magical bear. He's clearly not a real bear. And he's clearly not a general or a person. <laughs> and in a, instead of conjuring general manners via magic mm -hmm. or a storybook or some sort of childhood device, she calls him on the, 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 the wireless telephone. Let's give him a call. She actually even pulls out the yeah, antenna. Yeah, it's a, it's a cordless phone. She calls General Bear, which means he has a landline, a, a, a phone number. He's at home just waiting. And then he might he might have a he might have a cell phone in the car. He doesn't he doesn't materialize this was, in the this room. Was, this was 1997, but you know. By the he could have a he could be in the driveway in his car, but that's all very real re reality based. No, we're at, we're at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Well, in keeping with the stark realism of the Manners Club, <laughs> is is General Manners just supposed to be somebody in a bear suit? Mm. They, that's the thing. They don't necessarily. The children do not necessarily act like that's a bear. They act or like or some that's, sort of magical fantasy yeah, character. Yes, you're right. A person that's in a bear suit. You're absolutely like, you're right. You just shattered yeah. everything. Yeah, the uniform for the Manners service could just be a bear suit. So, so what you're saying is the eldest girl wants to teach all the, the younglings around her manners. Mm -hmm. So she calls up her bear friend. Immediately. She no knows hesitation. what's up. She know, and she knows the secret. And then the little kid, the, there's a little boy, the youngest boy who's like four or three, he's picking his nose he and he's care. fucking around. And, and, then, and then somehow the other kid who's sitting on the fireplace is instructed to take out the cards. Who's the helper. He's, yeah, and, and uh, she's trying to teach her friends that manners are important, but she knows that really it's her mom in the bear costume. 
Yeah. Phyllis. Yeah, it's Debbie or whatever. Karen. 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 No, right. Karen's You're the right. writer. Debbie's in the costume. No, Karen, Karen's in the costume. No. Karen and Debbie are in the costume. Okay. Like Either a donkey way, costume, or one's the head and one's the tail? Mm-hmm. Either way, So it's, they're little people? It's the weirdest form of scissoring that's ever occurred. <laughs> Rich looks sickened. Why are you <laughs> sickened by my comments? I'm, try, I'm just trying to picture how this works in the costume. You know how it works. <laughs> yeah, legs you know go up, legs works. go down. Yeah. When, so however it works, it's is, inappropriate in front of is children. Is the one on the bottom doing like a handstand? I think so. I think okay. so. Yeah. Okay. And, and it's hard to explain manners when you're in pure ecstasy. <laughs> That's why the cards when are there to help out. When you're trying not to moan when talking about silverware, it's difficult to... <laughs> difficult, All very right. difficult. In front of children. Did you hold the fork with your right hand? Ooh! <laughs> the spoon goes away L- from you. Like this? Just like that! Like Just that. like that! Whatever. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep going, keep going. What should you remember when you are the guest? I was told that when I came to a friend's house that I need to listen to their house rules. That's right, Rachel. You made a very <laughs> good point. <laughs> that was so fucking awkward. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, is he trying to punch me? Yeah. <laughs> she didn't know that was coming. Get away. Your friends are not allowed to have food in their room. Should you snack? Uh, the little, little one's getting food? bored. Clearly, this is the lowest... Uh, on the lower end of production values, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Now, two two VHS cameras yeah. on tripods, and they're not properly white balanced to each oh, other, no. so each shot looks different, and the audio is live. I like to share cans with people. That's fun. Shut up. See, that's the thing. You might remember when we did our episode on VHS cameras. Yeah. Now our audio was separately recorded, and sounded nice. This Which has, people said was actually distracting because it shouldn't sound that good. When you, there's like a like a disconnect yeah. between the, the the quality of the footage and the quality of the audio. Yeah, but that that episode would have been a nightmare. Oh yeah, no, we would never do it any other way. Yeah. But but for anyone who doesn't understand that, it should have sounded like this. Yeah, just awful. <laughs> just just onboard mics, compression, smushed, all sorts of hiss noise, the motors of the VHS cameras. Great job on the singing. Since I have a few more minutes, few more whose voice minutes. was that? I thought I'd help you with something else that deals with. They just forgot to dub over the bear. That was his real voice inside the costume. Yeah. And then... Let's go to the dining room and see what's happening there. Oh, we're going to the dining room. What? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, we changing the location? Well, what made it distracting is that sometimes it was, most of the times it was dubbed over, but then occasionally it wasn't. Okay, kids, spell the word right. Where it's like, yeah, it's all or nothing, baby. It's when it comes weird. to how did they the forget? manners bear. How did they forget a line? You know, yeah, it's right did, there. Right. Just do it, unless the timing was off. But how did how did you miss that? Maybe one of those little kids was in charge of post production. The littlest one. The littlest yeah. one. The one who's the picking his nose. The most invested one. Yeah. And fucking around. <laughs> that little prick. Do you all know my favorite song? Yeah. They're gonna sing. Let's hit it. You gotta have singing in a kids video. Oh, no. It's easily done. It's good for you and good for me. Tell us when so happily. Oh, no. Don't zoom in on him. I keep waiting for him to take his <laughs> out. <laughs> Is it weird? Like, it just, it just feels like it should happen. Like, it, it, it feels like that's the natural progression. It's this grimy of looking VHS. Yeah. It's like a snuff film. Yeah, all these kids, have been, yeah. they all get killed in the end. <laughs> <laughs> There's blood all over the bear costume. <laughs> you know, we have to make a call to the FBI. <laughs> we learn, we learn uh, some general manners, and then we learn some table manners, and then they sing a song, and then the kids, in tribute, do a rap this dedicated is, this to general is one manners. Of, one of the worst things ever. It's real bad. In the history of humanity. Set your place, it's easy, you'll see. Watch me do it like A, B, C. In the center Look of at the little kid. That's <laughs> all he can do. Yeah. Oof. Now you're done and ready to eat. Everything is pretty and neat. That was fun. Let's do it again. Come no! on. No! <laughs> Watch me do it like ABC. Wait in the center of your place. <laughs> this is so pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> we made them do it again. 
I'm even embarrassed for the house. <laughs> <laughs> it suffered an electrical fire shirt after this. <laughs> the house coll collapsed in like poltergeist. <laughs> I don't want to live anymore. We've watched at least three videos on the wheel that have involved manners, and two of them have involved raps. This is how the table's set. Knife's on the right, fork's on the left. Has it been three? Yeah, it's Mar Margibel. Margibel? Uh, mind your manners, man. And this one. I thought Marge, but that, wasn't that the same video? No. no. No? That's two separate ones. What's mind your manners? Remember the, the dude who was rapping dressed as George Washington? The giant fork? That, was, that yeah. memory is already in my grave. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. It's waiting for you? That was the same episode. Come on home, Mike. Making room. That was your the, that your was memory the... grave rivals Arlington. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do love how your synapses just 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 yank everything away. <laughs> you don't remember these because your brain is trying to save you. An overwhelmed brain engineer was just shouting, "Just pull all the plugs!" <laughs> it's like it's like when you die, your your whole life flashes before your eyes. Mine's just a bunch of bad VHS tapes. You just, you just gotta see all you're gonna have left just a few episodes of Ghost Adventures. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everything else is gone. You see Ghost Adventures and Margibel and a, a Manners Bear and uh, Zach and Baggins. <laughs> <laughs> and be very quiet with any paper products. What does that picture in the frame mean? I bet I know. If you go to a museum, you should look at the items, but not touch the works of art. Am I right, Jim? Oh, that's what that picture Ooh, means. Wow, you Let's not get any close-ups of the picture. Yeah, they didn't do a close-up of this card. I don't know what I'm looking at. It looks like a milkshake in the middle. Yeah. Oh, it's popcorn. Oh, movie theater. Oh, he took it away before I could see what any of the things were. What about, come on, what about the quality of the presentation? <laughs> The, the post, the, Why the, do you still want to talk about we this just video? Talked about right the that. visual, the, the visual aids they had. Oh, the the, oh. the whiteboards. The, with the whiteboards. Scribblings <laughs> that we don't get close-ups of, so we don't even know what the fuck they are. The useful <laughs> graphical tools to teach children things. When using our hands. We should watch them before. <laughs> 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 you idiot. <laughs> when, whenever we see videos like this, right? We always have the the idea that they're trying to make something that someone way up higher in, in the TV industry is gonna say, This is gonna be the next Barney. You're gonna be the next Barney. We wanna, we wanna pay you to have general manners, make a TV show for this major network. That always seems, but on a smaller scale, if they're thinking smaller, do they wanna produce 100, 200 copies and sell them at their local library? Or do they really care about manners so much? I'm thinking grandma was really annoyed with her grandchildren having no manners. And, and she thought, you know what? I'll make a video. I'll teach kids manners. That's how. That's well, the origin. No, they're here's they're the thinking thing. merchandising though. Yeah, there's there's merchandising here. They want to sell T-shirts. Although the quality looks like someone just made this in their basement with one copy, there is a like a, produ a professionally produced uh, sticker. Uh, is that a receipt? Yeah. The, the, oh, you can join the club. Oh, the club. Oh. Be kind oh. to others, cause learning manners can be fun. Okay, so this is. So the, you need to join the club before learning no, no. manners becomes fun. You're in the fun? club. You get the club card. You got the club. I got the club card. I'm in the club. Uh, t to and then you can choose the size of t-shirts you get. Where's fat ass? <laughs> they do have X large. Yeah. Just X. Just one X. Adult XL. They they assumed that adults would want to order these T-shirts. Damn right they do. I bet all the girls and boys that I visit would like to sing that rap song. It puts everything in order. Next time we call you GM, do you think we can eat then? You got it. Frank. I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> My parents don't feed me. And he just turns and walks right into the door. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of this video. General Manners is talking about when he's going to come back with food so he can teach them how to eat properly. And so he's already the trying, to get, the, is, trying to get the next video happen? sold. I don't know if it happened. Did these kids ever get a meal? They don't really care about manners. They no. just want to make a little they bit of money. They just want to sell pedo bear t-shirts. Yep. You have a teddy bear costume. Make him a magical teddy bear and go to some different locations. Rich, you don't have a teddy bear costume. You have a military bear costume. Go to the, go to the magical land of manners and have some like colorful backgrounds, and maybe kids will be interested. And no, not no, just no, 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 they no. don't have the budget for that. Standing there in a wide shot. Filmed it in her house. Got to got to got to shoot at grandma's house while they're they're in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> the grandkids are only in town for a week, half a week. <laughs>
<laughs> got to film this shit. We managed to rope in a couple of kids from the neighborhood. Yeah, we, gotta, we, we, we gotta, fooled the next door neighbor kids to come over and do this. That's we why it's them. all shot in the house. We can't do locations. We're not allowed to take them anywhere. Told them we were going to give them dinner. We lied. <laughs> <laughs> and they're bitching about it by the end of the video. I believe it's beside the fireplace. All of us can help. What are they, valets now? <laughs> there, there are more kids coming to my house? What, what do you mean? <laughs> the next batch of kids. <laughs> <laughs> next batch of victims. I mean, Go children. Down the, the basement where the grinder is. <laughs> <laughs> who's dead and who's in prison? Trevor. You know what's interesting, though, <laughs> is Tara, John, Frankie, and Trevor all have the same backdrop. That's a school backdrop. Which makes me think they were school photos. Yeah. Which means Pedo Bear was prowling the school for <laughs> cast members in his in his in his video <laughs> manners club. No, Kath, Kathy, the school teacher, just pulled him from school. You want to be in my video? Come over to Grandma's house. Patricia. Her name is Patricia. What if we tracked her down and one of us just pretended to be Trevor, all grown up? <gasps> that's a really good. That's a good. Patricia, yeah. it's me, Trevor. Remember, I was in the <laughs> from the general manners video. Rich I was promised a meal. Rich, you can pretend to be John. <laughs> and we'll see what happens. I'm going to be Rachel. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. It's me, Rachel. What if, what if we order it? What if we order it? We'll send it in. We'll order the t shirt. Okay. And we'll get like an old, dusty, moth eaten t shirt in the That's mail. fine. That's fine. Well, Won't that be amazing? At least we'll have gotten it. Yeah. It would be amazing. I will have a lot of respect for her if we actually get sent a t shirt. Yeah. She's still she's still playing the manners game. Hopefully she hasn't raised her rates. <laughs> yeah, should we factor in inflation for this? Shipping and handling's only four bucks. Ooh. On a t-shirt from Pennsylvania, it's probably twelve now. Yeah. Well, you know, we'll, we'll 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 give her more. Adult t-shirt. Shipping. It says here it's eighteen dollars. Let's just send them like I don't know, seventy-eight bucks. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh yeah. That'll cover everything. Yeah, just yeah. Put put in a check for eighty bucks and like, give me as many shirts you got. Yeah. Four dollars for shipping and handling. <laughs> Not with Bush in the White House. <laughs> checkers, fish, checkers, fish, checkers, fish. That, that, that was, that was Mind Your Manners, or not Mind Your Manners, that was that the on? Manners Club? The Manners Club. Manners General, Club. General Manners. The No Breakfast Club. Ooh. Oh. Jay. Coming in late. Busting out at the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> giving us a giving us an ending to the segment. <laughs> Great. You know you know what? As a reward, I'm gonna let you talk about uh, high impact hand oh safety. Oh my god! That was your spin. Yeah, it was an amazing spin. It's yes. Uh, is this, uh, now is this hosted by Louis C.K. <laughs> or our hands are the tools that reach out and connect us with the rest of the world. They aren't accident proof. They aren't covered by. Ah! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Although instructed to keep the floor clear of obstacles around the machine, he waited until it was in operation before doing so. <laughs> Tripping over his own tools, he oh. fall into the rollers. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! My God! Oh! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Uh, so this movie borders on this movie, this video, this very uh, instructional this work video, of, work of art. This okay. work of art, because um, what is the the famous like fake instructional video about work safety? Oh, uh, uh, Stamlefeuer Klaus. It's like a German thing, yeah. and it's got like extreme gore. Yeah, but it's that's like it. it's like an Evil Dead looking, like it's it's comedy. <laughs> It's silly. Yeah. We've, yeah. we've got her. I think it might even somebody might have sent it to us on Blu-ray. We have yeah, we have multiple yeah. copies. Yeah. It's, of it. a, it's a thing. You can find it's, it on like YouTube and stuff. It's wonderful. I highly recommend watching it. <laughs> you can probably find it under forklift operator Klaus. Yeah, sure. But it's not yes. real. But it's not real. This is real. Removing or disabling these safety devices and disregarding your training eventually leads to personal tragedy. On September 14th... Oh my God, no! <laughs> no, 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 no. Daily task, cleaning the sausage blender. He the sausage blender? Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Don't fuck around with the sausage blender. <laughs> oh, every day, you know, I'll just clean that sausage blender. Oh, God, he's going to get pulled in there. He's going to get pulled in there. 
It's real in that it's intended to be an actual training video and not a parody yes. of safety I, training videos. I believe videos. the idea is to just shock you. He could have prevented his injury. Like, oh my god, these are the horrible things that can happen. But that's all the video has. It's like faces of death. It's very generalized, and it's 95% recreations. Yeah. Which makes me presume that this is meant to be shown in tandem for the specific training video for whatever your occupation has to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is like this is like industrial workers or chefs or yeah. butchers. This is everything. And it doesn't get into detail about any specific no. one. Yeah. I, yeah. There's some vague things like uh, what is the one about like uh, uh, if you work with like acid. On October 10th, 1991, Earl Osterman changing the cooling liquid on a drilling machine scratches the ah, ooh, ooh. with a drill bit. Ooh. Deciding to finish the job before getting first aid attention, he then allows coolant to flow into the water. Ah! Dude! <laughs> contaminated with bacteria, and by delaying going to the first aid station... Oh my the god! There's a hundred different jobs out there where you have to use your hands in dangerous situations. Here's a really kind of vague overview yeah. where if you don't follow the procedures of your particular job, you could fuck up your hands forever. Jan Knowlton found this out on February 15th, 1992, when he reported to work still under the effects of alcohol. He was standing on the floor. Oh, he's drunk. Oh, no. All right, here's the stuff. This is work. Okay, I'm just going to run the dial for this. Oh, he's on a forklift. Oh, my God. Forklift you safety. can't ride on a forklift, Grandpa. Well, he's doing that wrong. Oh, this stuff. Don't do it! He's going to burn. Oh, 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 God. Oh, it's still going. It's oh, it's still ah! <laughs> oh, my God. His speed fingers. <laughs> pre pre presumably, they, they, they show you this one first. This is the one that hammers it in. Look, this is fucking dangerous. This shit can happen. And then you watch another vi video, like you're the on butcher. Your, on your particular And then you watch, machine. well, this is this saw and how you use this yeah, saw. Yeah. I, I would like to think if I started a job where I'm working giant machine that does I would I would sit through 12 hours of instructional details about how to operate this machine the tiniest yes and this is this is like the surface level be fucking careful and pay this attention. is how you use the meat cutting bandsaw yeah. series 3000 that we have in our shop but uh oh she, well, she oh god her wrist oh, oh. She cut her boob? What? Jesus. Oh my god, this is the... Uh, <laughs> how do you do that? My, my Simpsons t-shirt! <laughs> I got it in the fair! Oh <laughs> the airbrush boob! You know what, I was questioning whether or not the accidents were like real, because they're like, they give specific dates, they're like... August, uh, August, August 1987. And yes. specific names. Specific names, specific dates. November 2nd, 1991. Christina Wando was clearing the trim near the slitter on the ends of the paper rolls. To make it hammer home yeah. to whoever's watching it that, oh, that really happened. And I it, kept waiting for the Unsolved Mysteries music to come in. Because <laughs> the guy kind of had a bit of, the host feels inappropriate for this type of video. There was a little Robert Stack He had a little on. bit of a Robert yeah. Stack vibe. Yeah. So, so were these accidents fictionalized or were they real? It doesn't really matter. And the gore, while we found it hilarious, <laughs> It's they, well done. They did their best to make it as realistic as possible yeah. to shock it's, their audience. And if you know what, if I was sitting there and I'm working and I'm like, I'm ready to start this job working this giant machine and I see this horrific video, I'd probably be like, that'll get my attention. Yeah. Wally rediscovered this when he let the joint slip and punctured his hand with the awl. Only use tools for the jobs they were intended. Well, it's just bland. one after the other. Yeah, it, it, but the, the lead up is just like bland, kind of like, although we were a little baffled by the fact that it's apparently shot in a mannequin factory and you can see all these hands. Yeah, that's behind. weird. That was a little weird. But so we're watching it. Just, you know, it's, it's, it's the announcer telling you, like, be careful because this could happen, this could happen, this could happen, this could happen, this could happen. Blood, blood, blood. <laughs> And so that, that well, it contrast. gets very repetitive, like a slasher movie. Yeah. Where you're just waiting the boring stuff in between each kill. To be fair, I mean, for us, this was the mother load. <laughs> how, long, how, long have we been, how long have we been doing this? Years. Many uh, years. 27 years. 27 years. We've been doing this for 27 years. <laughs> and every yes. time there's an industrial, we, we're hoping for this. We keep putting safety videos on the wheel. We keep putting, and we, we're always hoping for, for, for recreations. Well, a good recent example is we did the uh, uh, forklift safety video. 
Yes. And it was mostly boring. It was filled with actual useful information. Yeah. And then there was like five seconds of a guy getting crushed by a forklift. Right. And it was hilarious. <laughs> This is uh, uh, just that. This is nothing but people being crushed by forklifts. The equivalent of that. On October 10th, 1990, Fagan Baden. Oh, saw, saw. Changing the saw blade. They started the saw motor, and the assistant adjusted the blade. Uh, here we go! <laughs> Pay attention! Jeez, come on, it's man. gonna happen! Move your other hand. I don't know. Oh! oh. <laughs> 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 They're in a sport night. <laughs> what this honestly reminds me of is is kind of kind of a combination of like the uh, blood on the pavement, like like driving videos they'd show oh, you sure. in high school. Yeah, you know, like you got to be careful because you'll die. And there's a, there's a there's an industrial from the '70s called Shake Hands with Danger. You know, that it's the, the, meant to shock you. Like, this is not a new thing. This is something that's been around for a minute, which is why we were expecting it more often. Mm -hmm. But yeah, something that goes to this extreme, where like the first moment of gore is a guy getting his entire arm ripped off. <laughs> and you see right chunks of flesh, like ripping out of his stumpy arm. <laughs> right into it. Like, it looks like a trauma movie or something. Yeah, yeah. And it's, well, that's the thing. Like, the, the effects are, are good, but they are cheap. They're, yeah, they're rubber hands. This is a video filled with rubber hands. Yeah. yeah. And where was Robert Stack at? I mean, we we speculated he, he was in a, a factory that made mannequins, but the hands look pretty realistic. I suspect he might have been in a factory that makes rubber hands for amputee victims. Or what if he's in a factory that makes rubber hands for instructional videos about arm safety? <laughs> That's true. In July 1993, Jose Montoya was feeding steel into a continuously running roll press. He'd removed the guard sometime earlier that day to allow him to correct a recurring problem. Reaching in to check the... Don't do it, Jose! Oh, my God! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Severed finger. <laughs> have, we, have we ever gotten this before? Nothing We're is always violent. looking for this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is what we want every time. ATI American Training Resources Incorporated yeah. has made other videos oh. about oh. workplace violence. <sighs> Now we're guaranteed recreations in all of these videos, Ooh, folks. We've got to order their entire library. Sexual harassment. Oh. Ooh. That'll yeah. be like, I spit on your grave. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, back safety. Oh. Well, Bloodborne pathogens. Ooh. Confined space. Bad for us claustrophobic. Housekeeping. Office safety and has come. Hazardous. Material. Oh, Hazcom might be good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm picturing nothing but like the, the Robocop toxic waste <laughs> for, for 30 minutes. <laughs> if you would like to leave a message in our general mailbox, please press three. Hello. It's me, Harry S. Blinkett. I've had an incident with my hand. I've had, uh, I've had a high impact injury on my hand. My friend here, Harry G. Plinkett can explain. Harry, Harry we don't have time. It, it, you're bleeding too much. Uh, yeah, yeah, hello, I'm sorry. Yeah, my friend here was just in a horrible, horrible accident with a farm ca uh, carbine. No, no, I, I, I was masturbating too much. He was masturbating on the fucking farm equipment. <laughs> and and they didn't cover that in your video. Uh, 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 your video here, hand impact, high, uh, high impact hand safety. And oh, I'm, my hand. And it wasn't covered in the video. Uh, I, I just need to know, are we liable? Uh, well, there's blood all over the farm equipment. <laughs> I just thought you were going to order more videos. <laughs> Alright, so that, that, that was uh, High Impact Hand Safety, our, our final <laughs> film uh, of the night. I, I, I spun for this shit. But I'm in charge here now. Mike, I demand you tell us about this video. All right, Rich. 
So we landed on this video, which is Japanese. Yeah, pretty sure. We're pretty sure. It's, I'm yeah, pretty it's sure. Japanese. Yeah, I'm, I'm very. If confident. we're wrong, I'm pretty bad. I'm sorry. At, at if, if we're wrong, put eight thousand comments below this video, letting us know. <laughs> sure. Listen, and the, the, share actually, with all your yeah. friends so they can leave comments about how wrong we are. The best way to tell us that we're wrong is to hit the thumbs up. <laughs> then we'll know. Business, business. Business, kids. Yes. These kids are in business. <laughs> <laughs> I believe there's probably school uniforms. Yeah. Although they. I don't think anyone's to fit. Oh my God! Uh, we put the video on and. Uh, it's well, not in English. We we don't know what they're saying. There there's there are some business children walking along a path. They're wearing their best uh, David Byrne cosplay. Yes. Their oversized suits. And then and then like the detective work starts. Yeah. And now our goal. Collectively, is to figure out what the fuck is going on. Yeah. It begins with alien spacecrafts. Don't forget that. That's is true. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Did it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I remember they showed basketball there. players. Well, the alien shows up, uh, makes a weird thing appear on its arm. We figured out that's where his PowerPoint is. Yeah, yeah. And then he made a basketball appear. Yeah. So we have little kids in business suits. We have an alien. We have basketballs. We had no idea what the fuck is going on. Business suits. Ill-fitting Ill -fitting business, business suits. suits. I think there were school uniforms. There were kids coming back from a hard day's work at school. Yeah. So, you guys know the dino star player and the Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson. Hey. But the days are now. But then the, the, the alien or whatever it is manifests some stock footage of uh, Magic Johnson. Yes. And so we were like, okay, this is a video about basketball? Oh, oh my god! Oh boy. Oh! And they're Not shrinking? Now. Is he growing and they're shrinking? Yes. Or that was just a weird shot where. Both of those things is true. Okay. Oh god! Oh god! god. Right into his eye. Now they flew. <laughs> <laughs> we have um, to play basketball inside of his. He has assimilated them. <laughs> now they're in his brain. Cool. We live in the giant now. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So it's a remake of oh. Inner Space? Oh, yeah. Anything's game at that point. We don't know what the fuck is going on. We're not we sure. were completely lost. And that was a lot of the fun because it's in a foreign language and we don't know what's happening. And we're guessing. What is this video about? Is but, it a basketball? Basketball? Is it about ill-fitting suits? So, is it about aliens? We so, don't know. So we're we're put into this giant's face, and we see things that look like cells going by, like blood blood cells. Like, we're gonna learn about the the, the human body and and uh, the immune system, maybe. What this has to do with basketball? I've got no idea. Yeah. That's that's when it kind of came together for me, though. We got we've got basketball. We've got viruses, mm -hmm. and we've got Magic Johnson, Ooh. and it was like a like a light bulb went off in my Where head. Where does this lead, Rich? Wow, you held on to that AIDS longer than Magic Johnson. <laughs> hey! Recycled joke. It's fine. It's a good joke. joke again. Wow, Rich, you held on to that AIDS longer than Magic Johnson. <laughs> hey, if our comment section can recycle the same five jokes oh. over and over and over for a decade, we can do one joke twice. This is gonna be an to the <laughs> HIV video? I was just thinking that in relation Ooh, to uh, Magic Johnson. Johnson. Is that possible? Remember they had viruses on the cover. Yep. That's possible. Oh my god. This is a possibility. Is this a, is this a Japanese basketball AIDS video? <laughs> I was about to say, wait, be quiet. I, I can't hear them. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese alien disguised as a member of BTS beams down to a random apartment building near a bunch of children wearing ill-fitting suits and tells them, basketball legend Magic Johnson has AIDS and you might have it too if you're not careful. 
let me shrink you and let me get bigger and you fly into my eyeball and let me tell you all about AIDS. <laughs> Is that essentially what's yeah, happening so far? Specifically how you can get it if you're white trash in Wisconsin. If you, if if you, you live in a trailer. If you're 27 and 24. Uh -huh, and you have and a mullet. And you have a mullet and you have a baby and you live in Wisconsin in a trailer and you feed your baby too much baby food. You might have AIDS. You might have AIDS. <laughs> This is the worst comedy routine I've ever heard. <laughs> well, that's when we started theorizing that, that possibly this is an anti-West misinformation campaign. You never know. Oh, well, we never know. Because they show New York City. You show New York City. Yeah, initially, yeah, initially like, here is New York City. Also AIDS. This amount of people with AIDS? Yeah. What if he's saying, like, you know, AIDS was created by the U.S. government to destabilize <laughs> <laughs> AIDS comes from New York City. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you want, Pecker? <laughs> he gives you AIDS. Uh, clowns, they give clowns, AIDS. well, clowns. Yeah, well, AIDS. I, I get yeah. that. It came from clowns, obviously. I mean, his name is Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> well, there, there's a part where they say, yes, let's shake hands or let's share a water bottle. Yeah. And then they show a toilet seat. And I think they're saying the places that you shouldn't have sex. In a water bottle or in your hands? Yeah. Definitely at a hot dog stand on the corner of a street in New York City. And definitely in a trailer in Wisconsin. Well, I heard, that that was the thing, we heard AIDS. We were like, I know that. Yeah, that's, that's that was our first clue. Yeah. We were like, maybe that means something else. Nope, it's AIDS. Wisconsin. I hear Wisconsin? Yeah. Wisconsin has the most AIDS, is what he said. Don't bring us into this. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. I it certainly sounds like that, Jay. It all comes back to Wisconsin. I keep hearing Wisconsin. All I hear is AIDS in Wisconsin. Wisconsin in Japanese means AIDS. <laughs> so sorry, Jay. Wisconsin is where the AIDS factories are located. Okay. Aren't you listening to the disinformation? <laughs> they got imported, they, they exported it to Kokomo. I mean, is well, we don't Ryan? know what they're saying for the rest of the video. Maybe they just really hate Wisconsin and they Could think be. AIDS originated in Wisconsin. No, it originated in New York and went to Wisconsin. Mm. Uh, sure, sure. We, Someone we, ate a hot dog and... We were hanging out with Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> And clowns came to Wisconsin and they yeah. brought AIDS. And yeah. some puppets, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, the puppets! What the hell? <laughs> Look behind you! There are puppets dancing! Oh, my God. There were puppets dancing over her shoulder for no reason. I'm out. <laughs> what the fuck are they talking about now? <laughs> How are puppets involved? <laughs> Truly, this is a Japanese is Japan movie. developing robots to fight AIDS? <laughs> yes. <laughs> who was, okay, who was girl uh, in photo? Woman oh. in photo. Who was woman in photo? Oh. Woman in photo, yes. Yeah. yes. Well, you know what? Now that I have this, I'll have this video digitized. I'll Someone take a screenshot. Someone I'll do a Google image search, and we'll find out who Lady is, because she's a big part of the video. They show her There's a whole tribute to like her. A, There's a ghost of her, yeah. yeah. Please don't be a puppet. Please don't be a puppet. Who's that lady again? She must be... Famous? Someone famous. Like a ghost recreation, like Carol yeah. Ramis in Ghostbusters Afterlife. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but by this point, Jay, you will have put it on the screen, and, and, and we're going to... All will be revealed, and or I'm... there'll be no results, and it'll just be a mystery till the end of time. So this. Oh. Oh, needle. Oh, God. Needle yeah, drugs. needle drugs. Oh, you're just really? filming heroin users yeah, on the street? just hanging out. Waldo's shooting up. <laughs> this is this is when we read the comments and the people who speak this language are like, how did they misinterpret a video that was about farming equipment? <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! That would be a pleasant surprise. <laughs> this was also a video about hand safety. <laughs> who knew? It's about ill-fitting suits. <laughs> <laughs> Quit feeding that baby AIDS! <laughs> <laughs> it's had enough! <laughs> Papa, please, no more AIDS! No, I, I, I think overall, this is a very productive wheel episode. Yeah, we had some uh, classics tonight. But it's, it's time to pick in this, in this episode 
what we think is the best overall tape. Uh, Jay, would you like to start us off? High impact hand safety. It's one of the best things we've ever watched on the wheel. Uh, it's all killer, no filler. <laughs> I have nothing negative to say about high impact hand safety. You just gave it a tagline, Jay. It's the perfect uh -huh. length. 30 minutes, boom. Nothing oh. but hands being mutilated. 30 what minutes? More it was like 17 want? minutes. Whatever it was. It, was it, could have been, it could have been 30 minutes. Jay, Jay, would you say it was a hands-off experience? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them hands. <laughs> Mike, your pick for best of the worst. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, I, Jay, I share your enthusiasm for the mutilated hand <laughs> video. Um, <laughs> but you know, I'm a, I was a little let down. By what? I, 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 en I enjoyed the recreations. I would have liked to see a couple of uh, more dummies falling off roofs. Uh, I'm going Why with- Why would dummies fall off roofs in a video about hand safety? I'm, you gotta mutilate some hands, and they mutilated all the hands. Uh, I'm going with General Manners, the guy, <laughs> gal, in a bear costume. <laughs> Fine. Teaching children in her mother's basement with two VHS Mike. cameras. Do you even try to be a troll anymore? <laughs> you're giving this, you're giving this zero effort. No, I, 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 I Normally you like ham it up. No, really, I think the Manners no, had, I, you're I, just like, oh, yeah, I'm picking, I'm picking the Manners video because I'm fucking troll. Did, and, no. And fuck you. Mind your manners, <laughs> sir, and close your fucking mouth. It's my <laughs> turn to talk. Uh, the, the, the Japanese AIDS video <laughs> didn't live up to its expectations. <laughs> That's okay. totally fair. It was and a wonderful discovery, but once we figured out what it was about, then yes, they didn't know where and, to go. And the, the, yeah, the hand video, you know, I'm not, I'm not quite so much into hand mutilation, maybe as so much <laughs> this guy is. But I mean, a, that's fair. A creepy lady in a bear costume. And, that, and the, that does it for you? That the, looks like a snuff film. The low production value, the, the fact that it very well could have turned into a snuff film. Split level grandma's house, really? Yeah. yeah. The, the I dark, know you were into that. The dark places my my mind went to while watching a Man. lady in a... Like the Manners Club was going to be a literal club? Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. I'm going I'm I'm to uh, take it. I'm going to take it from you. And, yeah. and just, just the sheer pathetic nature of the video. It's this, the sad, the sick, the disgusting, the, the gross, the, the rap song. Let the us not raps. forget the rap. The I'll never forget the rap at a song. rap song oh. at the end. It, it was just all around sad, and I'm going. You're going for brutality, yes, sickening, uh, practical, gross blood effects, whatever. I'm going for sad and pathetic, and that that's what gets me off. <laughs> that <laughs> Jay Jay might watch like watching rubber hands get smashed by uh, industrial equipment. <laughs> <laughs> that might be his thing. My my thing is. A sad lady in a bear costume. You don't know what she looks like under there. She might be elderly. She could, <laughs> she could be elderly. There's some sick shit going on in both these videos, but the sicker of the shit is going on in general manners. <laughs> okay, uh, Josh. I gotta go pound for pound, minute by minute, high impact hand safety. It just packed so much in, man. It just, it was just, it was just, once, once that first crest of the roller coaster, Hit, just boom, 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 boom. Okay, are we are we destroying anything? Rich, you have to vote. Oh, I'm voting for high impact hand what? smashing. What? High impact hand smashing. What? High impact hand smashing. What? I'm voting for high impact hand what? smashing. What? Are you mad because I'm not gonna scream AIDS again? <laughs> I thought you might throw a vote towards the, the Japanese AIDS video or the woman in a bear suit. <laughs> I gotta hand you it really to you, Mike, you're really- cheap, the cheap win here? Yeah, I'm going for the cheap win because this is what we've been, we've, every time we have a fucking safety video, be it forklifts or did it industrial up, equipment. Did it live up to expectations though? Really, seriously, Rich. <laughs> in, in terms of recreations. <laughs> Little, you know it didn't. It was you know it didn't. Look, 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 Mike. Nothing, nothing will ever. When it comes to like recreations, nothing is ever gonna surpass surviving edged weapons. That's true. It's That's ruined true. us for it's, all yes. kind of workplace yeah. recreation footage. Which one? But it's not bad. When have you seen two women scissoring inside a bear costume? <laughs> you didn't see it in that I, either! I, Wait, I, I don't still, answer that. I still haven't seen two women scissoring in a bear costume because that's not what happened in that video, Mike. 
<laughs> it could be. But you didn't see it. That's, yeah, yeah. It's happening inside General Ma Manners. That's just a theory. Rich, this is the world's first furry video. <laughs> no, it's not. That's more reason not to vote for it. And I know you appreciate that. <laughs> this is, Jay will edit this out, but I know, I know. <laughs> I know you. I know you secretly appreciate that. <laughs> Remember where you were? Was it two, two weekends ago? The convention in in Columbus. I was watching Ghost Adventures two weeks ago. Mike. <laughs> you know it. You yeah. were watching it with me. Rich loves Ghost Adventures. We know that. Hi, Zach Baggins. It's me, Rich Evans. I'm real. And I can't wait for all of the new and totally real paranormal activity that you have caught on camera that has totally not been edited or, or yeah. altered in post or faked in any way. On this Thursday's episode, on this Thursday's episode of Ghost Adventures, I'll be there. I've, and I believe in ghosts. And I believe in ghosts. Nights and screen, where will it be? Right of the plate, R-I-G-H-T. Fork is next, guess where it goes? Left of the plate, not on your nose. 